I have never been as excited about anything as I am on this program. This is kind of the day we've been waiting for for a long, long time. It's a different approach for uh, Florida in general uh, and the and Kennedy Space Center. For the first time ever, a spacecraft will be built here on site. We're going to build, assemble, and test um, an entire space vehicle here at the OSC building. We have a great history with this building. I mean, the Apollo modules were done here. A lot of the uh, space station elements were done here. And this just continues a long tradition for NASA. In 1972, NASA flew the last Apollo mission. In 2014, some 40 years later, we're going to again go beyond low Earth orbit with this spacecraft. Actually, I came down here for this event to see the ground tester article and the Orion flight test vehicle for EFT-1. In the vehicle that we see here today, it's not a PowerPoint chart. It's a real spacecraft. EFT-1 will be outfitted with the avionics propulsion system. We'll be putting real thrusters on there because it's really going to fly. Lots of wiring, a lot more components on there. You'll see it become very populated. We're going to take it to an altitude that's about 15 times higher than what we go for space station. And it's going to come back in at speeds that are very close to what we need uh, for a lunar re-entry. It's very exciting to see Orion. Um, it's design coming to life. It's a very exciting time for NASA.